so this is definitely not your normal beauty tutorial on my channel, but I think that it's pretty darn gross and cool and awesome. So this is going to be special effect makeup for how to make a fake knife wound on your hand. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is some rubbing alcohol. Just put that onto a cotton round and then clean the area you're applying your wound to. Next, we're applying an adhesive called spirit gum. Use the included brush to spread spirit gum in any area you'll be applying makeup to. This will make sure it has a really great base to stick to. Then wait about 20 seconds for the spirit gum to become tacky, so just take your finger and if it kind of sticks just like this and pulls the skin lightly, then it's ready for the next step. Now, because I want this scar to be 3D, I'm using nose and scar wax from Ben Nye to build up the area where I'm going to be putting the wound. So just take a little tiny bit of the nose and scar wax out of the little container. I'm using the end of a disposable mascara wand. Make sure you don't touch it with your fingers just yet because it will stick to everything. We do, however, need to spread this around with our fingers. Take some baby oil and rub that gently along your fingers just like this. And then just take your baby oiled fingers and start to spread the wax out, leaving the middle a little bit more 3D than the rest of it. The key here really is just patience, so just take your time spreading the scar wax to match the surrounding area. When you finish, it should be a slightly raised bump in the middle, but it should be pretty much invisible. Next, just find any object that's sort of thin that you can use to make a cut down the center of the scar wax to act as the wound. I'm using just a little alligator clip like this that I tore off this little metal silver part from. I'm covering that also in baby oil so it doesn't stick to the scar wax itself. Now just draw that object down the center of the scar wax to make the cut. It looks a little bit strange, but I promise you this does not hurt at all. You are just cutting into the makeup. And then just continue to shape the cut. You can kind of pull it, make it longer, wider, whatever you want. And just take pieces and kind of pull them apart like this. And put them down a little with your finger to kind of smooth that a little bit. And it looks really jagged and, and really gross and nasty. And really, you're just kind of making up whatever you want here. If you need inspiration and you're not too squeamish, definitely look up some actual examples of like stab wounds on Google. But um, if you're a little squeamish, then just sort of go with your gut instinct here. The best part of working with scar wax is it does not dry until you add this next step which is the liquid latex. So definitely do all your playing around while it's still dry and then take your liquid latex and coat the entire wound making sure you blend out the edges with your fingers. And then we wait for about one to three minutes for the latex to dry clear. Then take some translucent powder and lightly dust the wound. So for coloring I'm going to start with a kind of gray and purple and brown shadows to make those look a little bit bruised and beat up along the outsides of this cut. Then I'm using some shades from this Ben Nye Bruise Wheel, this red and that red and some of this purple and some of this red, um, and just kind of make it up and just add these colors around the cut to start adding dimension and shading and lifelikeness to this terrible, disgusting injury on your hand. I find that using a synthetic lip brush is the best way to apply these colors. Next, I'm taking a bright red color on just a really thin paintbrush and painting that outwards in the cut. I'm also using some of the other reds I showed you earlier just to add some different red colors to this. And yes, we'll be adding fake blood to this later, but just take some black for now and start to fill in the hole inside to add some depth um, to the cut. And now grab your fake blood and dip your lip brush back into that and add a little bit of that to the cut in whatever way you think suits uh, this injury. And yep, that's, that's definitely pretty gross. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!